yourself a deep thinker and feel things much more intensely than others? If you answered yes, then chances are you're part of the small percentage of people who are highly sensitive. So what does that mean? Well, being a highly sensitive person or HSP means that you are naturally predisposed to process and perceive information on a much deeper level than most. You're likely perceptive, empathetic, intuitive, and self-aware. HSPs are also emotionally intelligent and incredibly creative, passionate people. As you can imagine though, feeling and processing more intensely has some downsides. So without further ado, here are 13 struggles only highly sensitive people will probably relate to. One, you can't function without sleep. Isn't it great when you wake up after a good night of sleep? And isn't it exactly the opposite when you don't? Like a lot of us, highly sensitive people don't do well when they're sleep deprived. They might feel the effects of being cranky, groggy, and on edge more than others. This is because as studies have shown, HSPs need more sleep than most to function. Two, you can't stand loud noises. Does the thought of a party or going to a busy bar for the big game sound kind of terrible to you? If yes, you might be an HSP. HSPs get easily overwhelmed where there are large crowds or lots of commotion. Events like concerts, going clubbing, or festivals may be the popular idea of fun, but to HSPs, it might just sound like a direct path to a personal shutdown. So if you're not an HSP, but someone you know is, they're not being a Debbie Downer or boring. They're practicing self-preservation. Three, you often feel emotionally exhausted. Anyone ever tell you that they appreciate your empathy? Do you have mixed feelings about it because it also exhausts you? A key characteristic of being a highly sensitive person is that you feel things more deeply and intensely than others. So frequent absorption and reflection of others' emotions, especially if you're out all day, can feel like you're on an emotional roller coaster. Four, you scrutinize social interactions. Ever been in a situation where your friends wowed that you're spot on when reading a situation? Well, that's because you notice things, lots of things. These things are cues others often miss, particularly in social situations. You're very good at perceiving nonverbal cues and analyzing another person's tone. Unfortunately, this means you also tend to overanalyze things, which can lead you to making a mountain out of a molehill. Five, you're easily triggered by violence. How do you feel about watching movies with gore? How about listening to details of a heinous crime? If all you're thinking or feeling right now is nope, 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 this is a sign you may have HSP. HSPs have very strong visceral reactions towards violence and cruelty, even if they know it's fake, like a movie, which is why it can be so unsettling for them to watch or hear about anything too graphic. Six, you have a hard time moving on. Does a breakup from three months ago still sting like yesterday? Still bitter and hurt over being backstabbed five years ago? You're okay, and it's not weird. It's just high sensitivity. One of the most painful downsides to being so sensitive is that you could have a hard time letting go. Emotional pain received, be it from an insult to a breakup, just tends to linger with you. You know in the back of your mind that it's not really a big deal, but you can't help making it one anyway. Seven, you're uncomfortable with change. Do you feel anxious when eating somewhere new or trying something you've never done before? Do you spend so much time getting comfortable with your usual routine that it feels uncomfortable to suddenly change things up? When you're an HSP, navigating new environments can be taxing on you because you have to take everything in before you can start to feel comfortable. Eight, you don't react well to criticism and conflict. How do you take it when you hand something in and someone tells you, yeah, but I wanted it different? How do you feel? HSPs are some of the gentlest and most tender people you will ever meet. They're emotional and soft-hearted, which means dealing with them requires a more careful approach. Criticizing them, raising your voice at them, and getting upset with them in any way can hurt them deeply, even if it comes from a good place. Nine, you don't do well under pressure. Ever heard, yes, I work well under pressure, or pressure makes me do better? Yeah, those people aren't HSPs. Deadlines and similar time pressure can cause serious distress to a highly sensitive person. They hate having to rush into anything and juggling several tasks at once. They're much more content taking their time with their projects and giving their full, singular focus to whatever they're doing. 
10. Your boundaries are easily crossed. If your friend is disappointed or sincerely asking for help, we know you feel bad for them. You have compassion, you're not a jerk. But how bad do you feel? Are you still able to say no if it's beyond your boundary? Or is the compassion so intense that it overrides it? HSPs are more emotionally aware than most, so they feel compassion for someone's situation quicker and deeper. Because of this, they often end up saying yes to a lot of things they don't want to do, just to please those around them and avoid letting them down. 11. You are your own worst critic. Are you already thinking of a small mistake you made earlier this week? It's okay. You know that we all make mistakes. A highly sensitive person finds it difficult to come to terms with their personal failures. They beat themselves up over every little goof they made and hold themselves to an impossibly high standard. No one is harsher or more demanding of themselves than an HSP. 12. You require alone time. Ever tell someone you need quiet time and they still don't leave the room or they still continue texting you constantly? They likely don't understand that you require solitude. HSPs can't be around other people for long periods of time and some days are simply too much for them to bear. Because they process things at such a deep level, they need more time to rest and recover from all the mental and emotional energy they expend. And 13, you are often misunderstood. If you're a highly sensitive person, you probably feel misunderstood by those around you. Because only one in every five people have this trait of high sensitivity, it can be difficult for other people to relate to you and understand your point of view. Also, many people likely don't know that this is a trait, not a full voluntary choice like choosing what's for dinner. Despite the issues we've listed here, being a highly sensitive person is a wonderful trait to have. These issues are simply the darkness to the light, with the light being your insightfulness, artistic sense, and open-minded nature. Those deep emotions also mean that you have a huge capacity for compassion, understanding, and kindness. Your very presence makes this world a better place. If you like this video and the way we explain the subject, subscribe to our channel. We try to explain complex subjects in simple language and cartoons to support students all around the world in their learning.